Guys, I think I have a problem. Now let me preface this by saying, I care, I care a lot about the environment. And I've also moved a lot, so I, I think I'm always like kind of wanting to be prepared in case I need to move. <sighs> okay, this is a little embarrassing. I'm cleaning my basement, and this whole entire area, all of this, was full. Completely stacked and disorganized. This right here, those are my things. Right there where the suitcases are, those are like my actual personal belongings. Those belong to my babies. And those are holiday decorations. I had a bunch of empty boxes so that if I ever had to move, I could move easily. And those are over here. Yeah, guys, look at that. This is my basement. All of that was over here with this stuff. And I've been thinking I had a ton of stuff. But look, that's not really a lot of stuff. I mean, hold on. That stuff right there, that's my stuff. That stuff right there, that belongs to my cats. Holiday stuff. That mattress, that came with the, the duplex. My clarinet. A printer I don't even think works. You know, and those are some important papers and a canvas for painting. But that's really not very much. This, however, <laughs> volume-wise, is probably double what I just showed you. These are just empty boxes that I kept because I don't like to throw <laughs> boxes away because I can reuse them. And it's better for the environment. And also, that way, whenever I have to move, I can. So whenever I receive packages, like I'll show you, Amazon packages galore. There we go. Amazon. Oh, and that probably had my address, sorry. Amazon packages. Amazon packages. When I receive those, I keep the boxes, so if I ever have to mail anything, I've got a box. And this right here, some of those I specifically bought for mailing things. Those are for mailing. These are for mailing. <laughs> because I guess I didn't think I had enough boxes. This stuff right here, packing supplies for mailing things. That right there, packing supplies for mailing or moving. Everything else, empty boxes. By the way, I don't have that TV, that was George's. But yeah, all empty boxes. This stuff right here belongs to George and I need to get it back to him. <sighs> and then that's just, you know, normal washer dryer stuff. And that's trash that I found. Yeah, it's pretty terrible, guys. How do I manage that? How did I accumulate so many boxes and think that that's how much stuff I had? Anyway, yeah, so I got a lot done just now and I think I have a problem. I mean, my God, how did I even do that? This is so unreal. This is what wanting to save the environment does to you. It turns into a box hoarder. I'm a box hoarder. This goes well on my resume with jar hoarder for the same reason, because I don't like to hurt the environment, so I don't like to throw away jars and I reuse them and I have big cabinets in my kitchen just full of jars so that I can use them for things. Ugh. Okay, anyway, this is embarrassing. Thanks guys.